Now, when two of your long-time foes decide to join hands, it can only mean that the future that is waiting for you is going to be more troublesome. The United States found itself in a bit of a pickle last week when Russia and China called for closer ties, and since then it has been trying to cover all of its bases. Like the Arctic, for instance, the region is peaceful and a stable area that is seen as strategically very important to the nations in its proximity. Now, the nations in its proximity include the likes of the United States, Canada, Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden and Russia. Five of these nations are already members of the NATO military alliance. Now, Finland and Sweden are close to sealing a spot at the military bloc. And that leaves out only Russia, which is emerged as a threat, or at least that is how the West perceives it. And hence, the United States is also set to announce an ambassador to the region. The country thinks this way it will be able to monitor the developments pretty closely. And the NATO chief agrees. In a recent visit to the region, Jens Stoltenberg raised concerns over how Russia is using the region like a missile test bed. At a time when tensions are, are at its peak with the West, Kremlin has reopened hundreds of Soviet-era military sites in the Arctic. And this, of course, has got the United States very worried. Because the shortest path to North America for Russian missiles is actually over the North Pole. We also realize that the importance of the high north is increasing for uh, NATO and for Canada because we see a significant Russian military build-up with new bases, new uh, weapon system and also using the high north as a test bed for their most advanced uh, weapons including hypersonic uh, missiles. Now, since the invasion of Ukraine in February this year, the West has in fact grown extremely wary of Russia's global plans. For example, Canada was criticized for spending too little on its military capabilities as a NATO member. But after Russia's invasion, the Trudeau government has decided to invest about $3.8 billion to modernize its NORAD, which is a joint U.S.-Canadian-North American defense organization. Now, as if one superpower wasn't enough, China has also pledged to boost cooperation in the region. Beijing calls itself a near-Arctic state and has some pretty ambitious plans for its polar Silk Road. Now, the Xi Jinping government hasn't shied away from pronouncing its plans. China has its eyes on the untapped minerals and resources of the Arctic region. And climate change seems to be an invisible partner of the dragon. Because with ice caps melting, this will of course pave the way for new shipping routes for Beijing. And the country wishes to build the world's largest icebreaker fleet. Now, the plans obviously haven't gone down well with NATO. It also means that two of America's most staunch travels harboring in its backyard. The alliance is mulling over an increased presence in the Arctic and has also expanded its investments to keep Russia and China out of the region. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.